Hey guys, Andy with Poly Performance here and you're watching Poly Garage. Today's subject, we're gonna be going over solid pinion spacers, AKA crush sleeve eliminators. So we've already talked about uh, the importance of re-gearing when you've gone to bigger tires, added a lift, more armor and weight to your vehicle. Uh, something that a lot of vehicles use nowadays uh, is called a uh, crush sleeve on the pinion. Now, when you're setting a pinion up into the housing or the third member, you have basically two dimensions that you're trying to control. You're controlling pinion depth, uh, AKA where it lands on the ring gear, and then you're controlling pinion bearing preload, which is how much resistance it requires for the pinion to turn. Now, every diff has its own specifications as far as depth and bearing preload and the amount of force required to get the bearing started turning. What a crush sleeve does is in the manufacturing process, it allows the diff to be set up very quickly. Basically, you put your, pinion, your inner pinion bearing on the pinion, slide crush sleeve on, set it in, check your depth, and then wheel on this with an impact gun, and it's gonna crush the sleeve down until you get to the uh, set preload amount. What can happen to these though, over time, as they get abused in vehicles that are driven hard, a lot of throttle, a lot of uh, hard inputs like rock crawling, what can happen is these crush sleeves will mushroom down over time from the force applied to them. So something that we generally insist on doing anytime we do a gear job is called a solid pinion spacer. And what this does is this goes in the same place, but instead of having uh, a crushing depth or a crushing height, it's going to be done via a solid spacer and uh, shims. This is how a traditional, like, like a traditional Dana axle would have been set up, uh, you know, from the 60s, 70s, 80s. It's a very reliable way. It's a little more time intensive to set up because it requires a few, uh, a few uh, steps of guess, check, and repeat. But what ends up happening is the inner pinion bearing goes on, your solid spacer goes on, and then you are now setting the depth with your shims. This is gonna set your depth and your preload. And it's a bulletproof setup because there's nothing here to crush down. There's nothing to fail over time and you're, you don't have to worry about your pinion bearings losing preload. So that's all today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.